Hey guys, it's Jason with Tandy Lab. Today we're taking a first look at the Tandy 1000 RLX. Now we purchased three Tandy 1000 RLXs, two of them are stock and one upgraded with a 20 megahertz CPU. The duplicate RLX was bought accidentally when it was mistaken for one of the machines we don't have yet. Who is keeping track of purchasing around here? Anyway, the Tandy 1000 RL series was designed to be a slimline, compact home PC offering. The same power and functionality as the IBM PS2, but in a case only slightly larger than a video cassette recorder of the time. Now the Tandy 1000 RLX was the mid-grade offering in the series, and when it first appeared in the 1992 Radio Shack Computer Catalog Centerfold, the industry was evolving very rapidly. As a result, it possessed features that would be considered very high-end only a year or two earlier. It did, however, lack some required specifications of the relatively new AT or advanced technology compatibility standard commonly found in more powerful business systems. Specifically, the Tandy 1000 RLX had only eight IRQs, four DMA channels, and did not use a standard PS2 keyboard port. It also had only an 8-bit ISA bus rather than the 16-bit required in the AT standard. While the 386 and 486 processors were available by the time the Tandy 1000 RLX was released, other system elements often presented more of a bottleneck to overall system performance than raw processing power. Because of this, the 286, as found in their Tandy 1000 RLX, was still a practical, even advantageous option for budget systems of the day. The Tandy 1000 RLX utilized a 286 processor in the form of a 68-pin surface-mounted CPU. This configuration permitted the system to run cooler than other systems. A cooler system allowed for a fanless case design, making it very quiet and highly desirable to its intended home user market. If you've ever used a PC from the early days with this resonating metallic case and buzzing vibrating DC powered fans, you know how spectacular the relative silence of the Tandy 1000 RLX was. There were other interesting features about the Tandy 1000 RLX. Tandy chose to drop its proprietary video configuration in favor of the AccuMOS video chip. This gave the Tandy 1000 RLX 256 kilobytes of video memory rather than utilizing shared system memory as in the Tandy 1000 RL. The Tandy 1000 RLX was also the first in the 1000 lineup to feature the use of extended memory, which allowed the system RAM to be upgraded to as much as one megabyte. All of the systems we purchased appeared to be in good condition with minor discoloring and dust buildup. On the front of the system, you can see the Tandy 1000 RLX badge, the three and a half inch floppy drive, and the power button. On the back, you'll find the AC power connector, serial and parallel ports, VGA port, a headphone and line out jack, a mic input, two joystick ports, keyboard and mouse ports, serial number, model number, and UL info. The Tandy 1000 RLX retailed for $799.95. This standard configuration included a 286 CPU running at 10 megahertz, 512 kilobytes of RAM, expandable up to one megabyte, a 1.44 megabyte, three and a half inch floppy drive, VGA graphics, 8-bit bi-directional sound with external volume control and internal speaker, MS-DOS 3.3, Decimate interface, and spell checker in ROM. Decimate and Decimate Home Organizer, a 10-inch expansion slot, two-button mouse, and a 101 key enhanced keyboard. That's all I have for you guys today. Be on the lookout for this 1000 RLX in future videos, and I hope you're as excited to see some of the other systems that we're adding to our collection as I am to show you. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and comment down below with things you'd like to see. Do you have something like this? Have you modded it out in some kind of cool way? Let us know. Also, you can check us out at our Tandy Lab Facebook page. And of course, if you would like to be one of our sugar mamas or sugar daddies, we don't discriminate, you can find us on Patreon. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you guys, and be on the lookout for this and other great vintage systems. Later.